Therefore, these decisions aren't being made based on a medical state basis. And we just have to ask ourselves, why? It's the same with the vaccine possible. It's not going to help anyone medically. So why is it being pushed so strongly? The only reason, the only thing I can come up with is division. Hello, Internet. Thanks for deciding to tune into this podcast. Things have been going really well recently, and I can only thank my audience for deciding to tune in. In the coming weeks, I have some really huge and fascinating interviews set for release. So please be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you want to help out the show. And make sure you don't miss any of the amazing content. Before we get started, I've just got a few short messages. First off, the first round of crowdfunding for my book, To The Moon, The GameStop Saga, has now come to an end. Thanks to everyone who contributed. I still have 20 spaces left in the acknowledgements for names, so if you want to pre-order the book and get your name in there as part of telling the wonderful story of The GameStop Saga, you'll find links to pre-order the book in the description below. Next up, I have two sponsors for the show today. First off, ExpressVPN, the internet's number one VPN. You can protect your browsing data from your internet provider and from prying eyes by going to ExpressVPN today and getting 35% off 12 months of ExpressVPN. Use it for privacy, safety, or just to watch Netflix shows from another part of the world. You'll be stunned at the amount of extra content you can access just by setting your location to somewhere new. Secondly, I have a wonderful podcast to tell you about. But no, it's not this one. Comedy and science are two concepts that naturally go together? Well, maybe not always, but Australian comedian Anthony Genot has found a way to fuse these two concepts. Highbrow Drivel is a podcast where scientists and academics meet comedians in a light-hearted and informative free-for-all chat. Each week, Anthony is joined by a new stand-up comedian and a new expert to discuss their field. Some of the latest episodes have included how the brain understands sound, what is burnout and why does it happen, and my personal favourite of the last few months, did hippies ruin psychedelics? Some of these issues can be difficult to tackle, so I personally love the combination of comedy and science that Highbrow Drivel provides. It makes me laugh, and teaches me new things at the same time, like a clown teaching philosophy. So if you want to hear the big topics of our generation, the brain, space, climate science, psychedelics, and beyond, discussed with both levity and humor, be sure to check out Highbrow Drivel wherever you get your podcasts. You'll find links for everything in the description below. Anyway, here's the podcast. Hello and welcome to another episode of Chatter. Today I am here with Calvin Robinson, conservative commentator, uh, talk radio host and newly appearing on GB News. Calvin, welcome to the show. Thank you for the invitation. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, well, I mean, I, you've you've come on my radar more and more. Uh, the first time I came across your uh, you on Twitter was when there was a clip that went semi-viral of someone of you accusing um another guy of of being racist uh, after he's uh, was saying that you should have specific opinions based on the color of your skin yeah. and that's when i first came across you and i was like wow okay this guy's a little bit fiery so that's always interesting <laughs> to me hey i try not to be fiery i try to be calm and reasonable but that i remember that clip uh, a chap called ken hind said i should stick to my own and and not criticize Meghan Markle because we're the same color. I was like, that's outrageous. Come on. Do people really think like that? And apparently they do. Yeah, unfortunately, that's that's kind of the world we live in sometimes these days. But um, there's not much that can be done about that, unfortunately. No. But uh, anyway, so uh, how would you describe uh, your politics yourself? Um, I would say, you know, I don't like using labels um, because, of course, people use these labels to pin you down. And they think, you know, you should, you should think this because you're a whatever. So, you know, I'm not a libertarian, although I believe in freedom. I'm not liberal, uh, although I do believe that people should live their own individual lives without the state interfering. Um, I would say, I'd probably say I'm a small C conservative or center right or right wing, whatever people want to use. I don't really care. All I know is I believe in democracy, the rule of law, um, the right to 
practice your own faith in this country, that, that family is the most important thing in our society, and that the state should support and encourage that, but not intervene in that, and that everyone should be able to live their own, own individual lives whilst recognizing that we're part of a larger community. Well, that's a nice way of, uh, of describing it. Do you think?